How we're going to review Boyhood, directed by Richard Linklater, a coming-of-age story that follows a boy alongside his family for 12 consecutive years. Okay, so as you all probably know by now, Boyhood is a film that's gotten a shit ton of hype. As of currently, it has a 100 on Metacritic, and the only kind of films that typically have 100s on Metacritic are re-releases of such classics like The Godfather or Lawrence of Arabia, and they're typically reviewed by maybe 7 to 10 people or 12 or whatever. It's not very many. Boyhood has been reviewed by 49 critics, and still has maintained that 100 score. That is quite impressive. So when I found out that Boyhood was going to be coming to my local cinema, I was completely ecstatic because usually with these types of movies, I don't get to see these in the cinema because I live nowhere near an art cinema. So in order to see these films, I pretty much had to wait for them to come out for home release. And given that, again, I live nowhere near an art cinema, I'm pretty much all shit out of luck. And given that I never did see Inside Lewin Davis in the cinema, I'm still kind of pissed about that one. Now, Boyhood is, of course, directed by Richard Linklater, who is, I believe, to be one of the best filmmakers working today. And he's known for doing films such as A Scanner Darkly, School of Rock, The Before Trilogy, Bernie, and one of my favorite films to watch when I was a teenager, Dazed and Confused. But getting on to Boyhood, Boyhood is a film that's been in the making for 12 consecutive years. They started filming back in 2002 when either Coltrane, who plays Mason in the film, was six years old and rapped when he was 18 years old. And what's really cool about this film is that you see all this stuff and you hear this music that was relevant throughout that time period. And at one point you see Mason playing with the Game Boy Advance SP or you see him watching Dragon Ball Z or you see him playing Halo 2 on an Xbox. And it doesn't feel as if like Richard Linklater was trying to evoke some kind of cheap nostalgic feel from its younger audience. No, it just really feels as if like Richard Linklater was saying, okay, yeah, this is what was relevant. This is what kids were doing during this time. And it also kind of cues you in on perhaps what year or what time you know, these little segments are taking place in. And one thing I have to say is that this film is nearly three hours long, but given how enthralling and well-written, and given how I know what it's like to, you know, live in the South and be a little bit of an outsider, I always found the characters to be incredibly relatable, so I never once, within those three hours, got bored. This film truly is one of the most ambitious, one of the most authentic films that I've ever had the pleasure of seeing, and its portrayal of young characters, my generation, is just incredibly spot on. Now, I have heard some complaints regarding some of the film's dialogue, saying that it could have been a little tighter, a little bit more intelligent, but really, that's just it. Boyhood isn't the kind of film that sets out to be overly philosophical or overly profound, because Boyhood is the kind of film that has its sights set on authenticity. The people in Boyhood, they live in the same exact world that we live in, and people don't go around spouting out random profound statements everywhere they go, because that's Hollywood, and Boyhood is the exact opposite of a Hollywood production. And apparently one of the many things that Hollywood cannot get right is writing young characters. They're portrayed to the utmost extreme or to the utmost modest, and Boyhood isn't like that at all. And I'm going to say it again, Boyhood is all about authenticity. These are not just mere characters. No, these are actual real people, albeit of course these are you know fictional people in the film these people do exist you know in this world they're in you they're in me they're everywhere these are people that are incredibly relatable to really quite frankly anyone and one thing i have to especially praise this film for is that there's not a scene in the movie that looks like this Another thing I do want to talk about before I get to the wonderful performances is, of course, the underlying theme that the film presents. And that theme is, of course, that life is only just, and therefore we should take the time to live in the moment and appreciate the moment. And it's a simple concept, yet at the same time, though, it's a very essential one at that. You know, sometimes we all do get consumed by trying to achieve a certain goal or a certain status in life to the point where we truly do forget to appreciate the present and truly live in the moment. And by the time that we've realized what we've just missed out on, it's already too late unfortunately. As for the performances, although some of the performances about midway through the film by some teenage male extras are a bit uncomfortably bad, the performances as a whole are quite extraordinary. Ehler Coltrane is really good as Mason, and I like how his personality and his way of speaking subtly changes according to whomever he's talking to. Like if he's talking to his mom, he's a little bit more closed in, or if he's talking to his dad, he's a little bit more opened up. It's quite cool. Then you also have Patricia Arquette, who is great because she goes through such a broad range of emotions. And then you also have Marco Perella, who plays Mason's stepfather in the film, and he's great as well. And he's also in one of the best scenes in the entire film. It gets quite intense. And of course you also have Ethan Hawke who is just a natural in this film. He just has this aura around him and I think he gives the best performance in the entire film and I would say that his performance is definitely Oscar worthy. 
Overall, Boyhood is an audacious landmark that deserves to be seen by anyone and everyone who appreciates good movies. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. I'm going to give Boyhood a 5 out of 5. As always, I'm Colin Kirkland, and thank you so much for watching.